Hi everybody, Tom Matuska at the 2022 World Taxidermy Show and and uh, Taxidermy Competition and Show and we're gonna do our walkthrough, our live walkthrough and this is kind of exciting for everybody um, who we talk about it and everybody's calling home to tell people what they've seen and this is kind of the first glimpse of all of these great monsters. This is the world show where talented taxidermists come from you know, across the nation and around the world. And I'm here with Brett Wingfield, who all of you I'm sure know, and Corey Carruthers, who is one of the judges for the World Tax Army Show and in the bird division. And uh, we're gonna do a walkthrough and see what you think. Let's see what we have. <laughs> We have a lot to cover. A lot, and there's cover. a lot. Yeah. So we're going to start in the fish carving division. So it's also the World Taxidermy Championships and World Fish Carving Championships, and that's starting right here. There is a lot here, so we might go fast. <laughs> go fast. These carvers are a talented oh bunch, and some of the some of the things that you see, they just go, you know, take out all the stops. Um, this one I know is made out of basswood. Each scale is carved on. It's a carp. Wood burned on. Can't be bass. Huh? It can't be basswood. It's basswood. It maybe should be carpwood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the detail in that. It's amazing, amazing, amazing stuff to think. Not too long ago, that was just a chunk of a tree. I think they'll notice the tag colors, just like the taxidermy division. There are, or the taxidermy area, there are different divisions of competition in the in the fish carving uh, section as well. It's like a golf thing, isn't it? We gotta whisper a little bit. <laughs> we gotta whisper a little bit because they're judging, so we're trying not to disturb the judges. Beautiful peacock bass. Secret. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Arowana. They make great boots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. And there's several divisions. There's, I don't know all the names of the wood carving, but there's realistic and there's freestyle and there's yeah. um, interpretive. Um, that's an amazing piece. Holy cow. More eels, look at that. How many eels do you see? One, two, three, four, five. How many eels do you see? <laughs> um, that's, that's amazing. Pretty crafty. And then we'll swing around and we'll get the rest of the carving division. And the awards of banquet will be tomorrow. There'll be a couple major awards tonight, I believe. Yeah. And yeah. then tomorrow is the big banquet. And uh, all of these competitors are going to find out how kind Corey was to them. <laughs> right. I think the Ackley Awards are given out tonight. That's a big I one. I believe. That's a big one. Look at that. Is yeah, that not cool? cool. These must be what oh, miniatures? Is that a loon? Yeah, it looks like yeah. a, a yeah. loony type bird. Yeah. Oh, maybe Marganser. A cormorant. A little flying fish. Oh In these competitions. Oh, nice. Like the waves oh, and the fish yeah. going up after the flying fish. That's crazy. See, like now that. somebody artistic like, like you that. would yeah. like that, and I would have sanded it out. You would. <laughs> <laughs> Too many ripples. <laughs> I like that. That's um, cool. Just when you think you've seen it all, you, you see some people that really 
come out with some fabulous ideas. That's fun. Wow. You know, you just go home and think that you want to do this mm -hmm. type of a thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Little sunfish and we got trout, bluegill coming up. Carvings just never cease to amaze me. to do with a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Wow. Job well done. Crazy. All right. Shall we move on to the mounts? I'll clarify that. Okay. Yeah, see what you want Beautiful antelope. Take note of all of the, the habitat. These people really put a lot of effort into natural habitat. Some of them go the artistic um, route. Some of them try to stay very natural. You'll see everything from rustic to extremely elegant. Um, kind of kind of look at what all the people have done, not only with their mount, but with their base work and woodwork. And we're in the master's division, is that right? Yes, master's division. A little half mount black buck. You can just see the, the speed in that mount, how fast he appears to be moving. It's very dark. I bet there'll be a lot of competitors in the in the vendor room probably watching this on their phones because <laughs> this is their first <laughs> glimpse at this also. Wow. Nice bobcat on a rock ledge. That's a big old ruddy deer. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Snows and blues. Beautiful large mouth, nice simple base. And a lot of these game heads go to an extra lot of effort with the open mouth and the inner mouth detail and the throat. And that's all 
judged with a flashlight, close inspection. It's fun because in the vendor room, I, I said, what did you bring, what'd you bring? So I have heard many of these people, I brought this, I brought that, and I, so now it's, now that I'm seeing them, I'm putting, putting the face to the mouth, yeah. yeah. Oh, pretty little pine martens, look at that. That's kind of neat. Huh. That's nice fun. composition. So Corey, you judge the birds. Yes, what do you look? What are you looking for? Uh, like we have a nice mallard come, coming up here. Um, not to pick on anybody, but but what jumps out at you and what? So first, that we we judge the what I look for is mostly the anatomical accuracy. First, I judge skeletal, and then I go for the muscular, and then I see how the skin lays on top of those. Okay. So we might have some wing issues, we might have some neck issues, we might have uh, skin taxing, maybe the wrong curvature of the neck, or um, the legs might be down too far or up too high uh, for that pose. So there's many different aspects, including painting, um, coloration, I should say paint application, um, are some big things. A lot of game heads in here. Mm -hmm. Some amazing work. And that was just the first little island. Yeah. I see a lot of bobcats. And you notice a lot of these, uh, a lot of the mounts are up off the ground, elevated on a pedestal type of a base. And it's always, to me, best to get them up to eye level so the viewer um, can, see, can see the fish or bird or animal. So that's why you, you see a lot of these on maybe a three to four foot high pedestal. So they're more eye level to the person looking at them. A lot of movement, a lot of movement in all of these pieces we've seen so far. <laughs> Good job, Kate. <laughs> have a couple left on this side. I think a couple turkeys and maybe the pheasant. There's just so much you can't cover it <laughs> and give, you know, a lot of these mounts they're just due. Pretty soft.
Go this way. This is a beautiful piece. You can see all the detail, detail in that. You can get a close up. The depth that that thing has is so natural. Inside the mouth of both the snake and, and this other little crazy looking guy. Tells a story. I know. <laughs> wow, wow. You can see the rocks falling. Oh, oh yeah. Like I don't that. want to be a Kota Mundi. That's the story. <laughs> <laughs> um, beautiful. Uh, let's see. I believe these are the recreations. Wow. And explain the recreations to the people. Uh, recreations is a wood carving uh, that they have reproduced with a have a block of wood that. Has, also has wood burning. Um, everything has to be in proportion. The head can't be larger than the body is just as far as proportions go. <clears throat> so that's what we're primarily looking at. Texturing, feather detail, all that. Wow. <laughs> that's all you can say yeah. about yeah. some of these as well. Just feel like you can touch them. They're should Even be soft feathers. The, it's crazy the depth, the feather, the layering of the feathers in the paint. The twigs, that's all handmade. Wow. Amazing stuff. <laughs> More Masters birds still? Over here is Masters birds. Some beautiful pieces. Critters, critters everywhere. people out there. Yeah, there is. Tell you what, you got some excellent cinematography going here at the World <laughs> Taxidermy Competition. <laughs> Corey, how do I make my bird work look like that? Wowie. <laughs> <laughs> 
time. I'd go live with Corey. <laughs> yeah. sure. For those of you just joining us, we're going, we're at the 2022 World Taxidermy Show and Competition in uh, Springfield, Missouri, and we're doing a walkthrough of the competition. And this is kind of the first glimpse that anybody has seen of yeah. these mounts. And I've been to a lot of world competitions, and so far this is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. Pretty amazing. All right, folks, been a good day, been a real good day, but the trade show is closed. Don't forget about the auction tonight over at the convention center next to the hotel. Got a lot of workshops there, hunting trips, fishing trips, free hors d'oeuvre, free beer, flaws and lights, hey, hmm. no, hey, price cocktails. Good auction, be over there. She's at now that cinnamon teal. Yeah. That's a reed guy, I think. Said he did a cinnamon teal. And that's his reeds. Not him, I don't think. Ooh, we're moving over to the master's fish table. There we go. This is fun. Unaccompanied children under 12 will be placed on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's funny. We've got Kate the camera lady just kind of going in circles here. <laughs> we do. There's so much to see. So much to see. to go here. I know. Just the coordination of putting all these pieces into a room is amazing. A lot of engineering goes into a lot of these mounts too. There's suspension away from their base, um, hidden attachments, um, connecting one animal or fish to another. Um, that's a large part of it to make it inconspicuous and natural. And it is. A lot of, and a lot of little engineers that. going here. They've got to get it from home to here and some of them have traveled hundreds if not thousands yep. of miles yep. with yep. these pieces. And their engineering has to hold up to transport.
these must be recreations also. Yeah, the, these are recreations. Actually, that bird uh, is extinct. Oh. So they have to do a recreation. <laughs> yeah. Salmon? Yeah. Right. Yeah, beautiful little kokanees. Pretty little dogfish. And just think somebody has to pick a winner. Oh my gosh. Crazy. A lot of turkeys for you, Corey. Yeah. Well, I actually didn't do, get to do with the turkeys. My job was the upland game birds, raptors, and uh, the small little songbirds. Oh, wow. Tweety birds. You'd still be working. I was up late last night. <laughs> Goodness. I don't remember this many turkeys for a while. Still in the Masters Division. Still four Masters. I remember when the Masters Division was pretty Little. small. Little. Yeah. 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 A lot of people elevating their game. Thank you. 
big stuff. Wow. Now I think you probably are seeing the first of the professional division, the white the tags. Professional, yeah. With the white tags. Pretty quiet in here, isn't it? It is. It's scary quiet. We're not jabbering all the time. <laughs> This way. Look at how smooth he is. Mm -hmm. It's a great job of taxing and hair, ma hair management. Looks soft. Very, very. Soft looking deer. Very much. I think that would be one of the first three words if I was asked to describe what we've been looking at. Soft. Soft. Just, yeah. yeah. Just some really, really, really. I saw neat a snake stuff. that was not very soft. <laughs> <laughs> mean. <laughs> uh, it's impressive. So impressive, and I guess that's what you expect from the World, World Taxidermy Championships, but it's still impressive.
Just when you think you've seen it all, there's something new. I know. You didn't notice. It's amazing. Ooh, there's a soft one. Mm -hmm. Soft again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just wow. Or did you judge masters and professional birds? Yes, yes. And how many bird judges were there? Uh, let's see, there was a total of four. It was myself, um, Mikey, Dale, So myself, Mikey, Dale, and Danny. Oh wow. So artistically, the Ross Goose scene is done very well. Has a lot of action, a lot of composition with the base, with the driftwood. Wow. Just a lot of good action. Yeah, no kidding.
Okay. We better have a picture of the lady in charge of this room because this is an outstanding setup and I think you're responsible for all of this organization. I think it's quite a teamwork. I think, I think you're a big part of it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very well nice. So very, very nice. Very nice. Are we starting down the home stretch of the professional division? We are. Still some fun things coming up. Do we know the total pieces? I think there's around 315. Wow. Should have played music. I know. Yeah, we should. We should. You can sing. <laughs> uh. These deer heads might be professional.
Now this one's got a different tag on it. This looks like... Oh, that's a habitat tag. I get it. So what you're seeing now is the youth division. Oh wow. Pretty accomplished youth. Yeah. I'd say so. And these sculptures are all a lot of clay. some support underneath with maybe foam, but uh, all sculpted and put the detail in them to create a mountain in the future. You know, it's probably for our taxidermy folks, they, they all understand what these are. But those at home that may not, everything that you've seen today has some sort of a mannequin underneath it and some sort of a process to create the armature underneath to support the leather. And that's what these are. So from this clay, they're made into a fiberglass mold probably. Yeah. And then from that fiberglass mold, duplicates can be made like a copy machine. <laughs> Almost. 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 That's what we, we do. Have, we need copy machines. <laughs> we need to get it to there. Our copy machines are hard at work at home. Hopefully hey. watching this. <laughs> uh -huh. Some pretty amazing stuff. Is that it? That's a wrap. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. We hope we didn't miss anybody. We tried to cover it all, and so much there's just it's cover it quickly. so yeah. massive amount of beautiful, <laughs> beautiful work here. And I know Kate was going up and down and sideways <laughs> and trying to get everybody in. And we hope we didn't miss anybody. But um, that's the World Taxidermy Competition, that's and it. this is some really, really impressive work. And these people have poured their hearts out to put their soul into everything they did. And next yeah. couple of days, they're gonna yeah. find out just how, if it was worth yeah. it, I yeah. guess. Yeah. If they got blues or whatever they got, so. Yeah, yeah. World Taxidermy Competition, 